What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I mic up my motorcycle helmet. You can see my old motorcycle helmet here is the old Icon variant uh, carbon cyclic. And uh, you can see I got the freaking GoPro mount, I got tape all over the place, a Bluetooth adapter, a battery thing in the back. Got all types of stuff on this helmet. And recently, I picked up the Icon Double Stack. It's still a variant, still the same type of helmet, just a different colorway. And it has nothing on it. You guys can see it looks brand new and awesome. But we're gonna make sure it doesn't look awesome. <laughs> we're gonna try to not make it look too bad. But I'm gonna be miking this helmet up today so that I can do my motor vlogs with. And if you, for some reason, don't know what a motor vlog is, it's when somebody rides around on a motorcycle and records it, and by miking the helmet up and putting the microphone inside the helmet, it allows you, the person watching the video, to be able to hear me talk. Uh, and if you do it correctly, you can hear the motorcycle, you can hear all the surrounding noise, so uh, it's not really an art. I've done it a lot of times, but uh, we're gonna do it again because new helmet. I also get tons of questions from you guys about how do you get audio out of your helmet and record and all that kind of stuff, so if you are interested in learning that, this should be a pretty good video for you. Let's roll the intro and let's get this thing started. All right, so first thing up is the Icon Double Stack. Obviously, you have to start with a base helmet. Uh, I personally like the variants. I feel like uh, the front peak area gives me more area to uh, for my voice to go around and ends up giving me a pretty good audio situation. Uh, so you gotta start with a helmet. All right, next up is the Hero Session 5. And yes, I'm going with a Hero Session 5 instead of a regular GoPro, and I'll tell you why. I like the Session more than the GoPro because for one, it can record 1080p at uh, 60 frames a second, which is what I record my motor vlogs with. It's a lot smaller, so it's gonna be lighter. And I love the idea of this little port on the side. The worst thing that can possibly happen to me in my current setup is I'm riding around and it starts raining because if rain gets in my GoPro, my GoPro fries, I have to buy a new GoPro. With this setup, the door is going to be open because I have to have my audio port obviously, but if it ever starts raining on me, I can just be in the middle of a ride, I can yank my cable out and I can shut this door and suddenly I have a waterproof camera on my helmet. I absolutely love that idea. If it's going to work out, uh, who knows? On top of the session, we have the skeleton housing, obviously, to hold the session. And then we have this one uh, sticky mount from GoPro. All right. Next, we have this random little battery that I have JB welded to a GoPro adapter. I've got two of these. And uh, what that's going to allow me to do is, instead of using just the internal session battery, because it could die, with this and uh, having a GoPro attached to the side of the helmet, I can just click it off and on. And having two of these, I could literally record an entire day's worth of writing with these two little batteries. And they're super cheap, so uh, that's a must have. Here we have the GoPro audio adapter. Now it's USB-C, it takes a, uh, another USB-C cable and an audio cable. So this will run power to the session and this is gonna be where my microphone goes out to. Next up, we have the GoPro cable. Now, this is the cable that just came with the session. It's a USB-C to a regular USB. This is what I'll use to connect the battery to the uh, GoPro adapter, and that'll give me power to the camera. Next up, Lord God, you need gaffer's tape. Uh, you could search anywhere, like on Amazon or something, and get this kind of stuff. This is what I'll be using to hold my cables down on top of the helmet. Here we have extra strength, or like, what do they call this? Extreme mounting tape. This is a 3M tape that is sticky on both sides. We're gonna be using that to mount the adapter, just in case I ever need to remove the adapter. Otherwise, I would JB weld the hell out of that bitch. Next up, very importantly, we have the microphone. Now, you can use tons of microphones and different testing will be needed to be done so you can figure out which one is best for you. I've picked this super small microphone. I've never used a microphone this tiny before and this thing was hella expensive. If you're just starting out, I do not recommend this microphone, but I mean, that should be literally perfect for a helmet. Anyway, we'll find out if it is or not. To help mount that microphone, We've got sticky pads to uh, stick the microphone to, and then we have the little baby dead cats to put on top of it to block out any wind noise that we get inside of the helmet. Next up are these little bolts. Now, I'm not gonna be drilling any holes into the helmet. What I'm gonna use these bolts for is instead of a typical GoPro little screw, this is what typically comes with your GoPros, 
I'm gonna use one of these little bolts that fits in through here. One, I can get it way tighter than this currently is so that that way my uh, camera doesn't move. And it's a lot more lower profile because the only thing that sticks out, like you can see that thing sticks out that far. Once screwed all the way in, this little bowl will only stick out that much. So I'm not gonna have a lot of overhang stuff uh, when I get the final setup created. So when it comes to mounting a helmet, uh, I want to do the bill. I really like where that is on my old variant, so I'm gonna try to replicate it here. I've already done the angle that I think I like. Uh, the way I do my angles is I kinda just hold the camera where I think it's gonna look good. And then make sure you go sit on a bike because when you're on a bike, you are leaned up a little bit, so you're not looking straight, right? You're looking down kind of that way. So I like to angle the GoPro to look correctly. I've already done this angling and I think that looks good. Uh, and I'm gonna place it there right in the center. And if you guys notice, I've angled it so that my visor doesn't hit it. It comes right at it, but it doesn't quite hit it. Uh, I'm also gonna be using just the regular GoPro 3M. Uh, that stuff is super powerful, so, uh, and it's worked good for me in the past. Being centered is the most important thing right now. You can also notice that the way the session goes in is from the front. So, boom, session's in. Even looking forward, with my eye being over here and my other eye being here, I kind of can look past the session and it doesn't really take up that much space. It is gonna be a slight pain when I have this door open for the mic, but that's stuff we can, uh, we can just deal with. I did consider uh, attaching the session directly to the top of the bill, but what I found was when I angled forward, this, I didn't really like this angle because uh, it does look like it's pointing forward, but it's pointing a little farther down. So I wanted to have the adjustability of a, of a mount. So that's on there now. I'm gonna get this door opened on the session because now we need to attach the microphone. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I see the door is gonna hit on this little door. That's stupid. Anyway, now that that little interesting problem happened, so this is like a right angle with it being flat. Like I get it from GoPro's perspective of making the whole thing flat, but having one that kind of went in and down would have been ideal. I'm just gonna remove this door for now and I'll deal with the repercussions later. I'm gonna tuck this up under here, get this connected. Okay, what I was thinking as far as the adapter goes was if I could get it to poke out the back, just like that, I could plug in from here and then run the wires down the top. That's another reason I like the variant is because of this ridge on top, I've got this protective area. So uh, you guys will see me in a lot of videos I'll put my variant upside down. And that's because it doesn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm also, you know, aggressive with my helmets because they're a helmet. They should be able to take that kind of shit. I kind of like that placement. So what I'm gonna do now that I've tested it is take my GoPro adapter, take my 3M tape. I think this 3M tape's a little too big. So I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do, I, you can see I've got overhang. I don't like overhang. Hopefully this 3M tape works. If it doesn't, uh, I'll have to figure out a different solution. Like I said earlier, uh, worst case scenario is it doesn't work and I will just JB weld it and lose the ability to uh, remove it if I ever need to. All right, so I'm going to not kick my tripod. I'm gonna plug my adapter in. Put this under here, trying not to stick it to anything quite yet. Okay, now we have some archaic looking port coming out of the back. Perfect. You guys can see on the inside, that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, next we have power. So something important with the power. On my other variant, I have it on the back of the variant, but I feel like that's a very weak point at the back because you can see there's just, there's not much there to stop it from getting hit. I think on the side is a much better option. So again, I've got the GoPro adapter on the battery. My other battery looks just like this one. I can take it on and off. And the power is on the outside or on the back. So what I'm thinking of doing is 
attaching it here that way if it does start raining and i'm going forward on the motorcycle ideally the rain will wick off of this and not get into there i've ridden through this in the rain and it still works so where i'm going to put this is about right here that's not going to block me from doing anything and it shouldn't get in the way of the helmet too much the, the position of this doesn't matter. The only thing you have to worry about, will the GoPro cable reach from here, taped around and up to the, up to the port? Which, obviously, in this situation, it does. Just press it in there a little bit, and you should be solid. I like running my cable up through the back. Uh, it just seems to sit well with everything. So here you, get, you see we're going to have overhang. That's just how it is. So the question is, how do you want to handle that? First, I'm gonna plug it into here so I know I have plenty of space and I don't have to worry about spacing issues. I think I would rather have it semi-taut up at the top coming out of here, and then maybe we deal with the extra over here. So maybe I, I tape it right here, tape it down here, tape it up here on the side and let the extra kind of hang out underneath this kind of crest. That is what we are going to use gaffer tape for. Uh, I've used it in the past, it's always worked. I've, I just have gaffer tape because I'm a filmmaker person and it's always helpful to have it. And in moto vlogging, it has helped me out a lot. It's supposed to be uh, a type of tape that doesn't leave much residue. All right, so we're gonna tape this part down. Uh, the way I tape it is just, I put the cabling in the corner and then I, uh, I lay tape on the left side of the cable and I'm going to push the tape down and push the cabling against the helmet at the same time and make sure it gets in the little crevice as tight as I possibly can make it. That way you get this really defined kind of tape line. Now I'm going to tape it another time there as well. Obviously not as long of a piece. Now, and we'll, we're going to re, we're going to go over this a little later to make sure we're going to put a couple more pieces on there to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So now we want to make sure that the power portion right here doesn't go anywhere as well. So we're going to pull it taut again, put it in this corner and do the same type thing. And then I'm going to put it back in when I change batteries. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little cross right here that runs perpendicular to where the other part is. And then I'm gonna put another piece of tape that goes back along. And the reason I do that is so now I can do like that and it doesn't go anywhere. I can uh, switch out to my red battery and then boom, plug it back in, it's totally fine. Okay, so that is power. Now we have audio. Huh, I'll have to figure something else out for that. The 3M tape's not working at all. I might just JB weld it and call it a day. So the good thing with this adapter, even though the 3M tape isn't holding it, this cable is so taut with this one, it's kind of holding it in place. So I'm not, it's not gonna go anywhere, but I'll have to do something with it later. So here's the base of the microphone. Anyway, we're gonna get the base plugged in. All right, that's in there. I really don't like it poking up. I don't like uh, the idea of that. So what I'm gonna do is route it underneath and plug it in sideways so that I don't have anything poking out. Uh, the more stuff you have poking out of your helmet, the especially intricate in components that like are required to make it run, the bigger chance you have at it catching on something and if this microphone catches on something and then rips out, suddenly I don't have audio. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious like, well, why did you tape the power down when you're about to have to run the audio through the pretty close to the same spot? Now I can tell you, because of experience, I'm probably gonna have to switch out the microphone before I have to switch out the power. So I like to run them individually. And I mean, this is a power cable. It's, I'm not gonna have to upgrade a power cable. Those don't go out that often, or at least not in my experience. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Tape it up against the wall of the helmet. Now we have our audio running out the back, and what we're, we're going to do with the audio is run it straight down and into the back of the helmet. I'm going to have one piece of tape that goes all the way down. I want the mic to go about right here to match up with this little pad. Like, I like it going right there, and I'm not, I don't really care where all the tape is, but if you guys are a little more anal about your helmet looking good, um, you know, you can spend... 
you could spend a lot more time on this and do a lot better of a job. Uh, my main concern is, does it work? Okay, cool, I'm good. Another good thing with this microphone is the cable is so thin, like that's plenty of, of access. Alrighty everybody, so uh, you can see that the audio cable is gonna come down here and you can see we have a ton of extra audio. So what we're gonna do is take the uh, wind skirt out, we're gonna be putting that back in at some point, and we're also going to be taking out this side cheek pad. You don't have to take it all the way, you just gotta bend it back enough to get into it. I'm gonna take it out so I can show you guys what we're doing easier. All right, so here we have the little sticky pads and the little Win microphones. All right, so this thing is sticky on both sides. I'm gonna place the inside right. Uh, you can honestly go any place I've done here before and I've done here, but that's inside the cheek pad, so it's gonna help out with wind noise. Down here, you're gonna get more audio out of your bike because it's at the bottom. Up here, you have the potential of getting a little more wind noise. I'm gonna go uh, up here, honestly. And this is uh, especially the part where you're gonna have to test out with your helmet because every helmet's gonna be totally different. All right, so I just peel the top off of that. Got my microphone here. And what you do with this microphone with these little pads, hopefully you can see that, is you literally just stick it to the pad. You stick the bottom out. Okay, so that's the microphone. It's stuck there. Now I'm gonna add the little dead cat on top that literally sticks to the same surface. So now you can see that the microphone can get pulled. It won't go anywhere. Now I've got all this extra cable. Luckily, this is a really thin microphone cable. I've used really thick microphone cable before and it, it'll actually hurt you. It won't hurt you, but like it becomes discomforting. Discomforting? It's not comfortable inside your helmet, is what I'm trying to say. So what I'm gonna do now is take this microphone padding. What I typically do is I pop the back of my helmet off. You can uh, get all up in the inside of it and you just tuck the wire in. There's no need to uh, to tape this stuff, it doesn't, I've never had it go anywhere on me personally. So that's kind of the strategy. And you just pop it back on. So now we've got our little microphone and a little dead cat up front. We are going to grab this piece now. And we're just gonna get it back in. So you can probably tell there's a little bit of that dead cat poking out. That's what you want. You want the microphone to be close to the front of your mouth, which is gonna be up here, but not too far back so you'll sound muffled. You got the battery, power, audio, both, adapter. The only thing I think I'm gonna do is JB Weld the adapter to the top. The only issue with that is if the adapter goes bad, I'm gonna to have to rip it off of the visor. That's not ideal for sure, but for now, that 3M tape has totally failed me. Extreme mounting tape, I call bullshit. All right, I'm gonna go get some stuff to uh, make some JB Weld and we're gonna put this thing on with JB Weld because uh, that way it won't move at all. So I'm holding the adapter down pretty hard because the JB Weld's gonna have to dry and I'm probably gonna have to do this for a while. I'm literally waiting for this JB Weld to dry. Uh, I've got the variant, God. I've got the variant wedged with electrical tape to hold it down so I don't have to sit there and hold it. My hand literally started cramping. And uh, I'm judging this by the JB Weld still on the cardboard, but this is, that's pretty close to being uh, dry. Granted, uh, this is a lot thinner than that is, but hopefully we'll be done soon. So I'm gonna take out this GoPro adapter. There's a little screw things. If you use GoPro mounts, these things are so awesome. I love them and they fit in there and they are a little Allen. Only thing that sucks about these nuts, <laughs> these nuts. The only thing that sucks about them is if you need to adjust them on the road, I don't think I would use these because it would be a pain in the ass to always have to have an Allen key with you. But if this is gonna be your helmet set up where you ideally don't ever want your camera to move, it's a pretty good option. So Allen key, tighten that on there. That mug ain't going nowhere. 
All right, guys, can you see in there on the adapter? I'm going to take the electrical tape out, and we'll see if it moves. Did it move? Can, like, can we move it down? That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, granted, I'm going to leave it 24 hours before I, like, hardcore assume it's working. All right, fit. Yeah, look at that. The peak is going down when I'm pushing down on that. Awesome. Okay, do we have a finished helmet now? You guys can see that it's angled upwards and assuming I'm in the riding position, like about there, that session is gonna be perfect, especially with Super View on. All in all, I think that went really well. Uh, these little three, what are they called? Rycoat? These little things worked out really well. So did that microphone. I haven't done a lot of testing with that microphone, so uh, I'm not gonna 100% say go out and get it, this thing is the most amazing thing ever. But as far as fitting into a helmet, that thing was absolutely freaking awesome. You guys saw how thin it was. And then, uh, oh, also, um, I think with the little Rycote sticky things, those came with these little fur things. So you buy that and you have all the mounting you need uh, for the microphone. I gotta say, I've mounted probably 20 microphones in my career as a motovlogger, and that was probably the easiest one. Typically, you guys can see all my variants have a silver visor, and I have one coming in for this variant. I don't currently have it yet, but I mean, changing a visor with a variant is popping this little red thing out and popping it, then popping that little red piece out and popping the variant uh, visor off, and then uh, putting the silver one on there. Other than that, this thing will be good to go once I get the silver visor and I get a Senna Bluetooth communicator. All right, so guys, before I get out of here, I'm going to put the helmet on. I'm going to uh, record and I'm going to look around with the helmet and see how it works out. And you guys can hear the microphone and see how it sounds. So let's go to the GoPro now. <clears throat> Skirt! Take it back now, y'all. Before I put the helmet on, I was about to uh, like put the helmet on and then I looked at the session. I was like, wait. A session is a cube. You can switch it up and down. So what I did was I took the session and I flipped it upside down because now the power button is on the bottom and the GoPro will automatically orientate the video if you want it to with what's actually up and down. So you can see I ripped it out of the, um, the JB Weld and then I just re-JB welded it with a kind of JB Weld cradle type situation. So I've got the new side drying, and all I did was switch sides of that. So now it's on the other side. I can have the door open now. The door fits uh, much better. Highly recommend this. So again, I don't know if you guys are trying to replicate what I'm doing. If you do everything I'm doing right now, you will literally replicate my setup. But uh, now the GoPro session will have the record button at the top, and it will have the door out of the right side or the left side of the actual GoPro. That's gonna allow everything to work a lot better. Now I get to wait for the whole drying process again. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Focus. Huh? There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the GoPro session, the adapter, the little door that fell off. The other adapter thing that's now JB welded to the top. Let's take a top view. All the connectors in the back that fit, I think. That goes in, and then the helmet battery thing on the side. Now it all matters to see how it works and uh, feels when I have the helmet on. Switching to the GoPro now. Alrighty, GoPro, oh man, I just clicked the uh, visor in. I still got stickers on the visor, it's probably a bad idea. Alright, here's everything, here's my hands. Uh, let's go over and sit on the Triumph. Excuse me, Triumph. Alright, so, if I'm riding the Triumph, this is me looking at my speedometer, this is me looking like dead straight, and this is me knee dragging. Uh, so, I can't get a uh, couch in the way, Jesus, ow, excuse me. Okay, so, wrecked bike rebuild situation, triumph situation, Yamaha situation. 
Okay, so uh, that's what this looks like and sounds like. Okay, I've got to get this thing off because it's a brand new helmet and it's squeezing the shit out of my face. So there we go. The helmet, uh, you know, still kind of in progress. Oh my God, can we just, can, how do I? All right guys, so uh, that is the new helmet. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, or at least interesting. Henceforth, if I am asked what my vlogging camera setup is, I will be sending people to this video. So anyways, guys, if you know somebody that is looking to have clearer audio in their helmet while they're riding, by all means, uh, send them a link to this video and uh, share it out to those that need it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you didn't like the video, by all means, hit the hell out of that dislike button. Just let me know why in the comments. And guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels, and I will see you guys on the next video after I spin in a chair and get dizzy. Later. This is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. I don't know about this, bl this uh, light situation. We might just have to... Huh. We'll see how this goes.